Your doorbell rang loudly. My heart vibrated resonantly and I glanced around nervously as your father looked at me suspiciously. I crossed the threshold timidly, aligning my shoes cuz OCD, and as I'm walking towards your room awkwardly, I can feel your father standing confused behind me. Well, he's never home at this time usually. Closing your door, I can breathe finally, and before you can laugh at me, I punch you for no warning me. You take my arm and pull me, wrapping your arms around me strongly. What if he opens the door suddenly? He's in his room watching TV. But what if he darling? Don't worry. I trust you obviously. You kiss me lovingly and lock the door slyly, moving your hand towards my body. I slap it away reproachfully. Let's not get carried away, shall we? Okay, okay. I'm sorry. You grin cheekily. God, that smile makes me all tingly. We cuddle on your bed comfortably, reading a book together intently. Or so I thought before you tickle me, and as I'm messing up all your covers, giggling hysterically, your dad bursts into the room, accusingly. We sit up straight and look at him sincerely. Now catching us red-handed, he walks away dejectedly. And as the door closes, I burst out laughing loudly. You just shake your head and roll your eyes at me, and we go back to talking quietly. As I spin daily events into stories vividly, you look at me unblinkingly. And when I stop talking, finally, you just look at me unblinkingly. Blushing, I say, "Stop staring at me creepily. I just love you so much, Niyoshi." I love you too, dummy. And as I'm leaning in slowly, my phone rings intrudingly. Mom's number flashes on the screen brightly. I look at you and pick up the phone hesitantly. Where are you, Niyoshi? I'm at Tanya's house, mummy. I can't believe she believes me. I think you should go home now. I don't want you to get into trouble because of me. I agree, and we kiss, and I'm tiptoeing out quietly. waving goodbye when i see your dad looking at me next week i find myself ringing your doorbell loudly glancing around nervously